Hi, this is Shani and welcome. Um, I'm going to be doing a review on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, which aired Sunday, um, which was March the 19th. Um, and it's going to be about um, pretty much the end of the Hawaii party. So the party ended with the ladies. Um, leaving Hawaii and, and little things that were going on for their last day. So, um, it started off with Sheree and her, you know, getting into it whether or not it's a good idea for her and Bob to rekindle their relationship after their divorce of 10 years and her just getting her feelings out about you know all the things that affected her in their relationship when they were married now um, she says about the abuse and um, him neglecting the children and her having to take care of the children alone for 10 years after he refused to give any money and he was saying that she he still loves her and he was very adamant about it to the point where people were overhearing on the deck because they were on the boat and um and guys saying hey he really he really has love for her but she's just not there anymore so that's sad and unfortunate especially um her going through that re bringing up all those emotions which i was kind of about concerned about that in reality in fact being in a abusive relationship and her reconsidering getting back to him um, is not a good look. So I'm glad that she came up with to the reality that it wasn't the best thing for her. So good luck to Sheree and her future endeavors as far as finding someone to love her unconditionally without a bruise. So shout out to her. So, um... We go back into um, bringing up the divorce. So Kenya throws Cynthia and Sheree. Well, not Sheree, but Sheree comes in and talks about her divorce party. But she throws a divorce party for Cynthia and Phaedra. However, Phaedra reacts differently and so does Cynthia which has a concern by me because this is something that has ended this is a close of a new chapter in ending an old chapter in their lives and opening a new chapter in their lives so I'm surprised that they weren't so adamant about the party like they were sad and down talking about they didn't want to have a divorce Cynthia was making some crack of Mary story about how she was the problem of the marriage that she wasn't a good wife just real type weird funny acting type of situations so with the story being told a lot of people were concerned including myself whether or not these two lovely ladies really wanted to get the divorce and if it's all a charade speaking of charade if it's all a charade and you know this show was very very awkward very weird um didn't set right you know like doesn't make any sense like okay you're getting divorced it's the reason why you're getting divorced why wouldn't you be happy you don't have to be excited but this is something getting off of your shoulders off of your chest you're opening a new chapter in your life you're ready to branch out learn more about yourself love yourself more um get out and do things that you may have not been able to do because you always had to be two versus one now you're free so that's my concern oh i'm sorry ladies and gentlemen i have a tablet that i'm holding up and i'm trying to make sure i look on point for y'all so <laughs> please bear with me now phaedra turns the tables on kenya her and kenya played tennis prior to the whole divorce party they were like good friends Thelma, Thelma and Louise and then Phaedra flips the strip now what I noticed was is that 
Phaedra came into the party with Portia. Now, Portia doesn't have a liking too much for Kenya, especially after their fight um, two years ago. So, <laughs> she came in with, with Kenya, I mean, with, with Portia, Phaedra, I'm talking about, and her whole mood changed. And it was like a bad taste in her mouth and how they were violating the principles of marriage and I'm a good Christian woman and what? <laughs> if you were a good Christian woman, you wouldn't have got a divorce, right? Things would have worked out, right? But anyway, don't want to get too much in politics, but you got a divorce. It's time to move on. Time to heal and and relive and revamp on your whole life and your lifestyle. So that kind of blew me a little bit. So it seems as if um, next week, dum -dum -dum -dum, Matt will be back in the picture. So he says that him and Kenya had a little row in the hay um, when he returned. So I'm going to see what that's all about. But I know he's a little shady in, in, in regards to his character and especially some of the things that he done to Kenya property that I do not condone and um I would be concerned if they're just these this couple called crazy in love where you know you do things to me I do things to you and but we still love each other unconditionally that kind of mm. but speaking of Matt and Matt coming back shout out to all about the tea um, dot com there is a story going on and come to find out it's true in regards to something that Matt said so if you are into all of the latest gossip please be sure to look out for that they also have an Instagram page now I don't know them personally I happen to be looking online and ran into it but it is so juicy so I'm going to get into it you can read more about it if you go and do your research or whatever but let me tell you yes it's so good so matt on his instagram page i believe he posts a video saying that he got the scoop from todd and um peter that the ladies their ladies give them 10% of their earnings from the <laughs> Bravo TV show Real Housewives of Atlanta because hey man you need to get Kenya to drop you some of that paper because when the reunion comes I guess they issue out the checks or whatever Bravo and they were telling Matt, Peter, and Todd that he could get an incentive because he's helping Kenya have a storyline on the show stating that he would get $10,000 $10,000 immediately after the reunion from Kenya. So Matt plays this Mr. Nice Guy, I really ain't down about this. I really care for Kenya. She's my lady and all of this crap. But push comes to shove, he, he throws that at Kenya about him getting the money. He says Kenya wasn't down for it. Now my thinking in logical terms, because Kenya wasn't down for it, is this the reason why Matt began to destroy Kenya's property because he felt like hey yeah the guys are right they put that notion in his mind he said that Kenya agreed to actually pay him the ten thousand dollars however she didn't fit the you know do the whole deal bargain she didn't come up with the end bargain of the deal so he was like Peter and Todd told me about it. So Peter comes with this video, which looks awkward as hell, of him like 
with this grass background like what the hell is he is this is this, is this guy laying down or what is he t but whatever it is it seems as if he had it choreographed like he had um and planned and script he had like a really awkward background you know the lighting was perfect unlike my lighting but hell whatever the lighting was perfect you know he had some some glasses on and he was like hey man <laughs> let me talk to you so what you said was right yes we did come to you me and todd after around the time of charade's housewarming party and told you that um you should be asking kenya to give you 10 percent since you are part of her um, storyline on the show you making her storyline because candy and cynthia give us 10 percent. so that kind of blew my mind like what these ladies are paying these guys for the drama to stay on the show like they're really getting to that level in, in regards to entertainment and staying on the show so this is very interesting to find out and to learn and it kind of like it's just too much um phaedra is back to Fa uh, what shady fey fey as sheree says in regards to her whole flipping the script like totally um bipolar in a sense with her relationship with kenya now that i don't like you know um candy kind of warned kenya um when phaedra walked off about the whole divorce party but this is very odd so this show was very odd it seemed like they had to bring a lot of drama for this show it seemed scripted as i can say um it wasn't um it was just too much however you know reality shows sometimes aren't really reality but of course it keeps us watching so i definitely will be watching um this sunday to see what matt has to say even though you never know with him but um i think they're going a little bit overboard in regards to the storyline and the um things and the drama that's going on on real housewives of atlanta however <laughs> it does keep us watching so for me I'm going to say this was a mediocre show. It was very awkward. But I think next, this week, which will be Sunday, um, March the 26th, um, it's going to be a little bit more better. It's going to be a little bit more juicier. And my sisters told me that Nene is coming back and that Cynthia will be gone. So we have to check up and see if that little t is about right other than that um please be sure if you do not watch it it's on bravo um 7 p.m central time 8 p.m eastern time thank you for watching you are awesome please be sure to subscribe like and comment yes press that little red button below <laughs> you are awesome bye